In today's video, I'm gonna talk about why Weight Watchers doesn't work and why you shouldn't do it. A lot of our clients have previously done Weight Watchers and it's been around for a very, very long time. Many people do it. So I wanna talk about today why it doesn't work. So Weight Watchers is basically a point-based eating system. So Weight Watchers basically, and this is, you could pull this up right on their site, it basically says that Weight Watchers um, their point system is better than just counting calories and not all calories are the same and that couldn't be any further from the truth if you want to lose body fat you need to create a calorie deficit calories in calories out very very simple but Weight Watchers want you to believe that their point system is a lot better and I'm going to show you why it's not in a few minutes breakdown of the food is basically what makes the point so the protein the carbs the fat this is how they come up with the point system right so certain people get a certain amount of points and they basically come up with that point system by height to weight ratio so basically anyone who is 5'4 and 170 pounds gets the same amount of points regardless of other factors regardless of if they dieted before regardless is, is if they exercise don't exercise are active not active it's just a, a standard blanket okay you're 5'4 and 170 pounds this is how many points you get it's a baseline most of these you know big generic things and diets and feds and all this other stuff is just generic it's just what it is because they've served so many people it's impossible for them to customize everything to that individual one of the other upsides of Weight Watchers is it's really cheap. I think it's like five or 20 bucks a month. Like I said, I think Weight Watchers is better than most of the other things out there, but I feel like Weight Watchers is trying to trick you into thinking that certain foods are actually better than others. And that's totally wrong. No foods are better than others. Your body doesn't see foods. It just sees amounts. It just sees protein, carbs, fats, vitamins, minerals, calories. It doesn't see what you eat. It just sees the amounts. So it's more so about how many calories you consume over every day and over the course of the week that's actually gonna determine if you're gonna actually lose body fat. Weight Watchers also has certain foods on their diet that is considered zero points, okay? So zero point foods are typically leaner proteins like chicken breast, fish, um, certain fruits, vegetables like an apple, beans, corn. Those things are considered zero points on Weight Watchers, okay? so. Let me get this straight. And again, I'm not trying to say that you should, uh, this is why I like Weight Watchers because they're telling people basically, look, eat these leaner foods and you won't basically gain any weight, which is a lie, but it's better for you to be eating that and you should be, right? Like we all know what we should and shouldn't be eating. But the simple fact of the matter is if I was on Weight Watchers and I've done this before, I've before I knew anything about fitness and I was just trying to get in shape, I thought if I just ate chicken breast and vegetables all day long, I would gain tons and tons of muscle. And what happened? Nothing. In fact, I probably got a little bit fatter because all I did was just eat a ton of calories and not even realize it. And then I would get frustrated, I would binge, and I would eat a whole bag of chips. So basically what they're saying with these zero point foods is that you can have unlimited amounts of them. Let me get this straight, Weight Watchers. Let's say I get, I don't, again, I don't know anything about points. If I had 30 points in a day, okay? and I was hungry that day, I ate uh, all these zero point foods, and I ate 30 points in junk food, I probably have like 6,000 calories every day. Realistically, right? So if I had chicken, beans, whatever, that easily, apples, so in one apple is 25 grams of carbohydrate, it's very easy to eat two apples, that's 50 carbs. That's almost the same amount of calories as the donut that was 10 points. So it doesn't make any sense. This is why people who go on Weight Watchers, maybe they lose a little bit of weight initially, but it's only because they were consuming a lot more calories before they started Weight Watchers. I'd rather have you track the calories, track the protein, track the carbs, track the fats, and then fit those things in that you want. If you want an apple, okay. But nothing, 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 nothing is free. It's not like Weight Watchers says, okay, look, a bag of spinach is zero points. And I get that because a bag of spinach is probably like, 30 calories so that all right that's zero points but an apple corn <laughs> a cup of corn is like 25 grams of carbs it doesn't make any sense you literally took a sal all these zero point foods and made a meal plan with it your calories would be through the roof and you wouldn't even know it and you'd be frustrated and not understanding why you're not losing any weight will weight watchers work for some people yes is it optimal in the long run no is it better than other diets out there? Definitely. But 
Do I think when it comes to changing your body permanently and really, really changing the way your body looks, the shape of your body and all that, I think that flexible dieting is definitely going to get you there because you understand the principles of nutrition that way. That's, you know, your body doesn't demonize foods. It doesn't work like that, guys. It doesn't. So you really need to be focusing on those things, protein, carbs, fats, focusing on that amount of calories in. You want to lose weight. You got to eat less calories. You want to gain weight. You want to gain muscle. You add, add more calories to it. It's that simple. Okay. Remember guys, please, please, please remember there's no such thing as it's just because something's quote unquote healthy for you. It doesn't mean it's zero calories. Please, please, please. If that's the one takeaway you get from this, please. Just understand that there's nothing, nothing is free when it comes to nutrition.